Good morning and welcome to Charlie's Tech Talk Season 2. To make that clear for everyone, this is recorded. So As long as you speak Python, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> we can communicate in this then. <laughs> Python and NLP, nothing else. It's great to have everyone on the call, first of all. Good to see so many smiling faces. We, we really wanted to kind of capture um, the team spirits and, and talk to you guys about how, you know, you guys have tackled COVID, you know, working remotely, the type of challenges you guys might have faced, or maybe the new ways of working uh, or innovative ideas that you guys might have come across over the last, say, three months or so. Um, I know we're all over the world and a lot of people uh, won't know who all of us are on the call. So why don't we start off with a quick introduction round? Yeah, I'm Marcus. I'm uh, the head of machine learning engineering in GFK. I'm jean -Met. Apart from a French name, I'm Brazilian. As a senior machine learning engineering, work on uh, global data science. It's really a joy to be on an international team. I am Maria, I am uh, from Greece and I'm located in Nuremberg. I try to learn German. I hope soon we can talk, <laughs> we can communicate in German. Hello, I'm also a machine learning engineer and I'm from Croatia. And I'm actually, I didn't meet half of my team because I started remotely. So I'm really looking forward. I think next week probably where I meet more MLEs. <laughs> wow, so you, you've not even been into the office yet? I have been uh, last week once, but there weren't so many people. I'm a principal machine learning engineer and look after uh, the London team. And I see we got one more guy from London in the call. That's Ali, right? Yes. Hey guys, uh, my name is Ali. I'm the machine learning engineer in London and I've been a part of the team uh, for a year and a half, I think now. And I see you're probably one of the only ones of us who's not taking a trip to the beach today. You're, you're still at home. Yes, that looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. And uh, we've also got uh, Jürgen, I see down here. So my name is Jürgen and I'm a yeah, machine learning engineer. Well, how's it been, you know, working remotely and being able to join each other on calls uh, and collaborate? Let's start there. I, I'd say we are, we are quite used to that kind of working mode. So uh, home office was always a topic for our team. Even if we have an uh, office open and you can go there, you are constantly working with people in other time zones or whatever. For example, Maria, I think you are the only one in your team that is in Nuremberg, right? Yes, my whole team is in London, so for me, I just changed the place that I worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we miss the socializing part uh, and also sometimes if you had to do some brainstorming. However, from the technical aspect, we don't uh, miss a lot because uh, we got now the tools where you can share the screen and we can talk immediately. That's the most benefit we get it from here. Some really interesting points there, Nilesh. What, what would you say were the biggest challenges in those first, say, two months of having to work fully remotely from home? If, if you're on the floor, right, you know where are the team members are there or they are in the meeting at the one glance only, you can see it, right? Uh, however, if you are working remotely at the start, you have to message or uh, to check whether they are there or not. After one or two weeks, it was smooth as uh, and there was no challenges. That's, that's a really interesting point and I guess within such a diverse team like yourselves that's where maybe Lana your your story would differ a little bit because I guess Nilesh you've just said you had that luxury of meeting everyone beforehand being able to build up that rapport and then obviously being able to use that to kind of keep that momentum going remotely whereas Lana I guess you know being almost fully remote from the get-go how's that been for you trying to gel with a brand new team and you know build those valuable connections first I thought it's gonna be really weird and it was actually weird because you don't know who are you talking to. Like, then someone says, okay, can you like contact this guy to help you with this? And I'm like, I don't know who is this guy. And it was kind <laughs> of weird uh, messaging people, which you don't know. But after a while, I think it got really like, at least with my team, I think now it's really good. Quick, quick fire question, whoever's brave enough to answer. Who's had the worst background picture during all of your team calls? Has anyone had one so bad you can't forget it? So yeah, sometimes I try to, to, to work from home, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Marcus, yeah. Yeah. I was Marcus going to say the, the same thing, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, and, and, Speaking and, of which then, you know, Ali, what, what about yourself? What kind of challenges have you faced um, or even what positives have you found from working remotely? Uh, so in terms of like the flow of work, I don't think that we had any problems, but I feel like um, m people more or less faced personal problems to get like used to this time, you know, 
I heard the same thing where most of the people said they have been working more because I think they get bored a lot as well at home. So work always becomes like a way to escape that. Um, and then personally, um, I, I found it a little bit hard to keep my routine, you know, like hours in uh, in a consistent way. Maybe even like having having my food in a consistent way as well. That has been a problem with me too. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's positive, uh, definitely, to end on that note, and it's good to see things kind of returning to normality. A, a question I have, because you've all touched on that, you've all been working maybe more hours, spending more time on the computer. Does more hours mean more output? When you're in the office, you have the visual cues that you see if the person you want to talk to, it's really busy and concentrate, and you don't disturb, you wait a little bit, and then you go there. And uh, we, why we were in this adaptation period, let's say, uh, you don't know it, so you just chat with someone, send a message or call someone and you break that reasoning which is really important sometimes and it's difficult this context switching is difficult to, to adapt so i think that we learned on the way in this first two weeks uh, to kind of uh, get the cues on what time more or less i can contact that person without disturbing too much so we need this kind of blocks of uh, hours that you can concentrate and get job done and was that organic was it something that you had you know maybe one or two team meetings over the first two or three weeks or something that you just kind of naturally learned that for example don't message ali at 12 o'clock because that's his lunch time <laughs> and then don't message uh you know lana at 3 p.m because that's her downtime is it something you just kind of learn just through you yeah, know, annoying I think, people I, throughout the day. <laughs> I think you learn by observation. Yeah. Like when you are in the office, you walk around and you you see things, uh, as Mark said. So it's a matter of adapting to use the tools, and actually you learn these time slots where people are more available or less available, and so on. Some people in JFK, at least in Nuremberg, they start really really early. The I have... is just smiling. He's also <laughs> starting really really early. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think that what really just jumps out to me is the kind of unity you have as a team, that respect for other people, that ability to kind of pick up and see each other as, you know, real individuals within the team and respect everyone's space. Um, so, yeah, that really, really comes across. Um, to, to wrap up, how do you describe the team spirit amidst, you know, all that we faced over the last three months and where we are today? I feel like everyone is motivated, but I cannot uh, compare to what was before. So maybe they're yeah. even more excited and more <laughs> into it than now. But I think it's good. Um, I would maybe use the word resilient for our team spirit. Cool. Okay. I like that. Uh, so I would say team spirit is still high. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it sounds like there was uh, a little bit of change, uh, a little bit of resilience, then some high energy and then now kind of just that balancing out and everyone really on the same page. So look, I've really enjoyed talking to you. All I can say is have a great week and uh, yeah, look forward to touching base soon. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Team Emily. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank, you. Bye. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to learn more about GFK or join one of our global teams, why not check out our website and careers page or one of the many social media channels displayed around the screen. Take care and see you on the next video.